What's up guys, Rainus Rations here with you again. We're gonna be trying out something a little different today. We're gonna to do a ration component comparison. As we all know, the MRE menu Chili Mac or Chili and Macaroni is one of the all time favorite MRE menus of both the troops and MRE reviewers alike. Mountain House, who produces freeze dried food for outdoor adventure, emergency survival, and of course military contracts, also has a chili and macaroni menu. And I thought it would be sort of interesting to put these two against each other head to head and see which one is better. How does the freeze dried chili mac with beef from Mountain House stack up to the retort pouch chili and macaroni from a USMRE? Before we check these out, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and to see all my future ration review videos to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get these two over to the reviewing desk so we can take a look. This is of course our US military MRE package chili and macaroni. This particular item was packed for, so pack ho. This mountain house I got from Walmart for a very reasonable $6 on clearance. This is a two serving pouch, chili mac with beef, spicy sauce with macaroni, beef and beans, freeze dried. The MRE is eight ounces. The mountain house unrehydrated is 3.8 ounces. However, to reconstitute this full mountain house, you add 12 ounces of boiling water to it, making this a close to one pound serving size if you eat the whole pouch. So roughly twice the amount of food you will get from a single military retort pouch. Nutrition wise, if you were only to consume half of the mountain house, which would be an eight ounce portion, it comes in at 230 calories, whereas the military MRE main has 280 calories. 10 grams of fat on the military MRE versus six grams of fat on the mountain house. Carbohydrates is about the same. The MRE is coming in at 31. The mountain house is coming in at 32. The mountain house has one extra gram of fiber on the military MRE, three versus four. The MRE has one extra gram of sugar. And for protein, the US MRE is coming in at 16 grams of protein versus 12 grams of protein on the mountain house. Of course, should you decide to consume the entire mountain house pouch, you will double all those values, making it a far more substantial meal. This mountain house has a very impressive best buy date of May 2050. Freeze dried food literally lasts forever. This MRE is from 2012. So at this point, it's already nearing 10 years old. Let's have a look at the retort pouch. The big difference between a freeze dried mountain house and a US MRE, aside from the quantity, is the preparation method. The MRE retort pouch already contains any liquid that it needs. You can open this up as it is right now and eat the whole thing with absolutely no preparation. Of course, they're better if they're heated, but it does not require any further preparation. The freeze dried mountain house does require water to consume. Whether you mix water into the meal itself or drink the water separately, water will need to be consumed. Otherwise it can cause dehydration. You don't really have that problem with the retort pouch for the MRE. That being said, you can eat a dry mountain house no problem. So let's open this up and get a taste of it dry. Look at those freeze dried macaroni noodles. We have a do not eat in there. Of course, we're not gonna eat that. As expected, smells basically like chili powder. Let's go in for one of these dry noodles and give that a taste. Very crunchy, but easy to chew actually. Mm. It's certainly releasing a very nice chili powder flavor. It described this as being spicy. Mm, I don't really see that. Let's try one of these freeze dried beans. That was super dry but pretty soft and a little meat crumble. Mm. In reality, if you just have a bottle of water, you can snack on this. Take sips of water and you'll be all good. And it's basically like eating some kind of potato chip snack or something that is chili flavored. Really quite good. And I suppose we will try the MRE cold as well to get an idea of how it is without being heated. Now this MRE pouch has side tear notches. We're gonna actually cut the top off because I do still wanna be able to heat this up. So we're just gonna cut the top of the pouch off. That's not quite as pretty as the Mountain House was. It has less of a chili powder smell and more of a tomato sauce kind of smell. And we'll go in for a bite of this while it's cold. A little bit clumpy looking, see how it tastes. Hmm, heck, for being cold, that is pretty dang good. This is not the freshest Chili Mac. Chili Mac is still in rotation to this very day. You can get a 2021 dated MRE case and it'll have a Chili Mac in there. Even though this one is coming from 2012, I'd say it still tastes pretty fresh. So now let's get these heated. I'm going to submerge the MRE retort pouch in boiling water for five to 10 minutes. And I will prepare our boiling water to rehydrate the mountain house here. I was actually pretty surprised at how palatable the retort pouch Chili Mac was being completely cold. I was expecting the dried mountain house to be far better, but they were both quite good. I think the true test though is gonna be once they're rehydrated. So I have my 12 ounces of water that was just boiling. 
We're going to add that to our chili mac here. That's looking like a lot of water. I'm going to go a little bit shy. Looks like I have about four ounces left. And I'll add more if I need to. I'm not trying to make soup here. Give that a good stir. Pick up all the bits in the corners. Reseal this using the included Ziploc. And that's going to take five minutes to rehydrate. So we are all heated up on both of our meals now. That would have certainly been too much water had I put the full 12 ounces in the mountain house. Let's pour that out onto our tray here. Yeah, nice and thick, just the way I prefer my chili. The aroma coming off of this is very pleasant. It's still steaming, as we can see. So it should be a nice hot meal, if nothing else. And we'll pour out our retort pouch as well. The portion looks pretty minuscule next to the mountain house, but that's to be expected. All right, let's take a good up-close look at this mountain house. There's our macaroni noodles, and we have our beans in there. There's actually a good amount of beans distributed all throughout, if you like that kind of thing. Our little bits of meat are quite small, but there's a fair amount in the mix. And I see a couple little flakes of onion, and you can distinctly see little bits of chili powder. The sauce is nice and thick, being prepared with the amount of water that we used. It is not looking too bad. Now on our MRE one, the noodles are larger and certainly softer than they were on the Mountain House. The meat is far more substantial. There are larger chunks of meat and there appears to be more in the sauce and there are no beans in the military one. The sauce itself is not quite as dark and rich looking as the Mountain House was and the visible spices that you could sort of see in the mountain house are not present in the USMRE. There appear to be no flakes of onion or anything else in there besides just meat and noodles, but both the meat and the noodles do look larger and more substantial, although the noodles are very soft and squishy. So we'll get a couple pieces of noodle, a couple pieces of meat, and go in for a bite. Mm. The meat has a nice chew to it. You definitely know it's there, like I said, substantial. There's a little bit of heat coming from this, just the slightest bit of spiciness in a very welcome way. Those noodles just dissolve into mush. They have no bite whatsoever. There's a very slight metallic taste coming from this. It's not really that offensive. It's going down nice and quick. I am very impressed by the amount of meat you get in the serving. This tastes less like chili and more like a tomato sauce, almost like a pasta, sort of like a beefaroni. Still quite good, especially for an MRE. This has always been one of my favorite menus. Now let's check out our Mountain House and the taste test and see how it's doing. The difference is very striking in the color department. The Mountain House is far darker. We'll get a nice spoonful. Look how thick that is. With lots of noodles, try to get some of the meat. Make sure we get a bean in there. A little bit of everything to test and try that one out. Oh wow. So the flavor is way more potent on this Mountain House. It tastes a lot more like chili than the Chili Mac did. However, the meat in this even though I gave this the full five minutes plus some, did not completely rehydrate. It's a little bit chewy. It's not really crunchy anymore. You can tell it hasn't absorbed all the water it probably should have. The meat within the mix is not as well seasoned as it was in the USMRE, but the sauce is seasoned a lot better. So I'd say overall that sort of balances it out a little more. I'm not picking up any spiciness from this one, and it's kind of missing that. I do like my chili spicy, and at least the USMRE Chili Mac does have that aspect. The beans are a nice touch, although they didn't really rehydrate the best either, so they're a little bit chewy. That one I just had was pretty dry on the inside still, and this bite is mostly just pasta noodles so I can get an idea of those. They're smaller than the ones in the USMRE, but they have a little bite to them, almost like they're al dente. I would say I do like the noodles more on the Mountain House. This is a solid Mountain House menu. A little bit of hot sauce would be absolutely perfect. I think some people might have an issue with not everything in here being completely rehydrated the way that you would hope. But in that same line of thinking, I think there's a lot of people that would not be completely happy with the USMRE version either because those pasta noodles are so mushy. They're very different, far more different than I thought they would be. But in a pure taste test, I'm going to have to give it to the Mountain House. I think it is better. It lacks on the spiciness, but all the other flavors are far more pungent. In a fantasy world, if I could sort of mix these the best way possible, I would take the meat out of the US MRE, stick it in the Mountain House, and then I think you'd be basically perfect at that point. Both solid, but Mountain House really does it right. And this retort pouch might have been good for another five, 10 years, the Mountain House would still be good probably for another 50 years, if not longer than that. And both really are military quality. We have to remember the US military uses Oregon freeze-dried, which is Mountain House, for their freeze-dried menus in long-range patrol rations and milk cold weathers. So even though this is a civilian offering, the quality is most definitely still there. Thanks for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. Let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments. Which do you prefer, retort pouch or freeze-dried? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for all future videos. 
those and to thumbs up the video if you liked it. We do have one last taste test to do before wrapping this up, and that's gonna be our puppy taste test. So let's get this over to Revy and see which one she prefers. I have the US MRE one. Smell this one. Like the way it smells? All right, you can't eat it yet. All right, this is the Mountain House. Smell that one. I think that one smells pretty good. Eat. Well, it looks like she went for the US MRE one first. She did seem to like the way it smelled better. So I don't know if there was something in the spices or the Mountain House that didn't really appeal to the dog, but she certainly went for the US MRE one first. And she has no problem eating the Mountain House as well. So I guess they're both dog approved. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.